Hello Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome back. Aquarius, this is going to be in the next 48 hours. What you can expect your next 48 hours, what's coming forward for you. This could be in love, in career, finance, or in your life in general. So this is a general reading. <clears throat> so whatever comes out, we're going to go with. Okay, Aquarius. Let's get some energy. We have success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Oh, okay. We have imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. And we have pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Okay. At the bottom we have purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Okay, so Aquarius, what are you doing that is bringing you so much success? I feel like it's it's you kind of using that beautiful head of yours to um, bring forward ideas. Bring forward new creative opportunities that may be bringing you success. Um, because I feel like you, you're you like in this mode where you're like building. You know, you could be building a relationship, building a business, building some kind of project. Um, but I feel like you're in this building mode. Okay? Um... Yeah, <laughs> that wanted to fly out. Let's see. The Ace of Swords. First card out. What did I tell you? You you have this ability, and I feel like you're fully aware of what it is that you want, what goals you have, what achievements you want to succeed in. Um. You just have that drive. I feel like you're having so many downloads at the moment. Like so many ideas are flowing through your head, um, Aquarius. So many ideas. We have the Page of Wands. <clears throat> so I feel like you're waiting for some kind of information. You're waiting for something to kind of come through and give you a little bit of guidance. Um, this could be some kind of communication that you're waiting on. We have the Page of Wands. Um, the Page of Wands, the Star, and the Knight of Cups. So I definitely feel like it's some kind of communication that you're waiting on. You're waiting for an idea to for someone to kind of give you the like the second opinion that this idea is like some sort of breakthrough some sort of ignition okay I feel like this is the ignition okay and the communication from this person is the key so in order to ignite this we need the key That doesn't make sense to me yet, but if it resonates with one of you. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have the star and we have the knight of cups. So I feel like, you know, if you're open to love, I feel like you're healing. You're in this balanced place. You are feeling very renewed. You have a lot of hope in the situation. And maybe you have a lot of hope because this knight of cups here is kind of bringing you some kind of offer this may have to do with the first part with the with the ignition and the key maybe there's someone who holds the key to your heart you know and you feel like they need to turn it in order to you know get you moving get you driving does that make sense okay okay aquarius let's keep moving 
Let's see. Let's clarify. What is this? What is this Ace of Swords? Tell me more about this Ace of Swords spirit. The Two of Pentacles. Okay. The World card. Mm, the Ace of Cups. Yes. This definitely can be a love reading. Definitely. I feel like you're waiting for the right time. You're waiting for the right time to approach this situation. You've been thinking about it for a while. You've been trying to contemplate how the situation is going to go in your mind. So that's the reason why we have the, the Ace of Swords. You're contemplating how this should go. How you can, you know, like put this into action. And I feel like you're coming very close. I feel like... You know, you're communicating with this Page of Wands energy or someone's communicating with you. you you're kind of communicating back and forth. And you're like moving into this new chapter. Like you're moving from one level to another with this person. Like you're moving from friendship into being interested and having more feelings. You're kind of progressing into the relationship if this is a relationship if this is a career or love you know you're progressing okay um with the star and the and the uh ace of cups i feel like you feel like this is renewed this is beautiful this is i mean i feel like you you feel overjoyed this is a lot of emotion you know this is a lot of water energy with the star and the uh, ace of cups the star is pisces energy so it may be a pisces that you're dealing with um, but it doesn't have to be um, but i feel like you're you're kind of really in the flow of the way you're feeling you're like I feel like this is new. This is something that you feel could last a very long time. With this Knight of Cups and this Four of Wands. Oh my gosh. You know, I feel like someone is, someone may be popping the question in the next 48 hours. This could be a proposal and an offer to marry. But it's definitely some kind of union, some kind of reunion taking place. Someone's offering you their cup and they're offering you a lifetime of happiness here, a lifetime of celebration, um, reunions, coming home. That is what the Four of Wands means, you know, celebrations, coming home, reunions. So, I, and I feel like, you know, you're in this happy spot, in this happy place, uh, Aquarius. And I feel like in the next 48 hours, um, or the next 48 hours from when you see this this reading that things are really going to take off really going to take off very interesting but I feel like you're definitely overjoyed in the situation okay okay let's get another row going here what do we have for Aquarius the next 48 hours oh more cards want to pop out wow okay the five of swords okay the hangman and the ace of pentacles and the seven of swords okay at the bottom we have the seven of wands Okay, so I feel like this is a totally different message. This is something that is like totally different. I feel like there's some kind of conflict. There's some kind of situation that needs to be resolved. Some kind of challenge or obstacle that needs to be attended to. This could also be a conflict in your ideas. 
maybe you're conflicted on making a choice you're having a very hard time to come to a decision so you're kind of having that inner battle within yourself that you're, you're not able to come to a clear precise decision you know we have a lot of fire in this energy so you know I feel like I'm, I'm really getting that there may be a fire sign involved although I, I do feel like with all the fire in those two cards I feel like there needs to be some kind of action taken there's some kind of action that needs to be jumped upon you know with this five of swords some kind of action needs to be taken maybe you need to approach whatever this idea is this conflicted or whatever if this conflict is with a person maybe you need to approach this person and really lay down how you feel you know really communicate your position with this person if this is some sort of conflict okay see with the hangman I feel like you need to take a moment to see a different perspective you need to come into this realization be more aware of the situation um, but I'm really feeling like it's taking a different perspective. Maybe if you're stuck on an issue, maybe you need to look at another side of it. Look at another side of an issue. Okay? But I feel like you're coming through some sort of breakthrough. You're, you're coming to the realization that something is holding a lot of value that you don't want to lose. And I feel like you may have this fear that you're going to lose something that's very valuable to you that you're going to lose in some some kind of investment some kind of hmm this could be issues at work to where maybe you feel like your position isn't as stable as it was before or maybe someone is causing conflict at work with this five of swords energy um, but I feel like it's it's some kind of investment that you really don't want to lose. But you feel like someone may be kind of taking that from you or taking some of that energy from you. So you feel like you need to protect it. You feel like you're being betrayed in a way. Um, very interesting. But the Seven of Swords... The Seven of Swords. It may be someone trying to take something. It could be someone who's betraying you. Someone who's not being honest in the situation. And maybe it's someone who's not being honest about money. Hmm. very interesting okay let's go ahead and clarify for the five of swords we have the nine of wands for the uh, hangman we have the page of wands so the page of wands we have twice there's definitely some kind of communication some kind of action that needs to be taken we also have the page of cups and the hermit okay at the bottom we have the Queen of Wands. So if this is a love interest, I feel like this Queen of Wands is coming forward to let you know that, that there's a lot of fire. There's a lot of passion. This may be someone who's very active, very feisty really enjoys being around animals I'm really getting that that feeling really likes being around nature hmm. let's see okay let's get into this 
Okay, with the Five of Swords energy, I feel like you really need to just stand your ground. You know, hold that boundary. Don't give up your position. Because I feel like you're very close to coming through to some kind of breakthrough in the situation. But you, you need to stand your ground. Stand on your truth. Stand on what you know and believe. Okay? With the, the uh, hangman, I feel like you're, you're going to change some kind of perspective. You're going to kind of look at things a different way, but then you're going to take action. You're not going to walk with, you know, your tail between your legs and give up. You're going to keep pushing on. And this may be someone providing this communication for you as well. Um, someone providing you with communication that is going to spark that new perspective. Um, and it may be the same person, the page of Pentacles, excuse me, the page of wands, the page of wands. So it may be that same person who is like sparking that new energy to keep you moving. Okay. And we also have the page of cups with the uh, ace of Pentacles. So I feel like whatever this offer is, Whatever this new offer is, I feel like it's something that you're going to enjoy. It's some kind of new journey that you may not have felt was possible. Sometimes the Page of Cups can be your believe the impossible is impossible. You know, believing the impossible is possible. So, yeah, I believe in yourself. Believe in your actions, Aquarius, because you're able to get through it. Now, with this Seven of Swords energy, I feel like, you know, taking a little time and really looking at the situation, um, being more aware, just keeping an eye on the things that are around you is, is going to bring more awareness to you. Use your wisdom. Aquarius, you have plenty of wisdom. You have plenty of guidance. You have plenty of intuitive nature. And you'll be able to spot this betrayal. And I, I feel like, you know, with the, the hermit being there, you may feel like being, like isolating yourself due to this betrayal or whatever this is that's being taken. But... Don't isolate too long. Don't hold yourself in. Okay? Okay. Let's see. Let's get an outcome. Let's get an out outcome for Aquarius. We have the Queen of Wands again. Wow. The Six of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. So, I'm really liking how this ends. Because the outcome... The outcome is very fiery. I feel like whatever this is, if this is your person, this is beautiful. The Queen of Wands, she's very beautiful. She's very attractive. She knows how to get what she wants. <laughs> you know, she's very confident. She's very aware of her ability to attract. Let me say. Um... And she's very confident and feisty. She has a lot of energy. Okay. The Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is offering you balance. Some kind of generosity. Equal give and take. You know. Someone offering a gift to you. That is like very well needed. Some kind of generosity. Okay. Someone not taking more than they're giving. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is beautiful energy. So, you know, you're starting with the Ace of Swords and you're ending with the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. So, this is your happiness, your abundance, your well-being, your longevity. So, something, something that you're doing is going to last a long time. It's going to, you know, create wealth for a lifetime. And the Pentacles doesn't necessarily have to mean material wealth. It can also mean love, you know, um, good health, family, 
and you know so on so take it how it resonates if of course if this is wealth i wouldn't turn it down you know but um the pinnacles does mean more than just wealth it means good health longevity good family you know stable environment you know just happiness and abundance okay so um I feel like that's where you're kind of heading to. You're heading to being more stable, being more abundant. Um, like I said, if this is love that's coming through for you, Aquarius, I feel like it's going to last a very long time. Okay, we have your hard work is paying off. Beautiful. A new romantic cycle begins. And what do you need to release? And look, we have this Six of Pentacles energy again. A time to give rather than to take. So definitely something is becoming more stable. You may be the generous party in this situation. But I feel like... You know, you're very close to completing whatever this is that you're trying to work on. Um, because, you know, you're coming in, into some kind of completion. You're, you're moving in the right direction, Aquarius. Okay? So, um, and a new romantic cycle begins. And we saw that with the, the Knight of Cups and the, the Four of Wands. So it's beautiful energy that's coming forward for you. Something is going to last a lifetime. Something is growing and evolving in a way that is going to bring you a lot of happiness. Okay? And, you know, of course... We need to take a look at what is surrounding us, especially with this Seven of Swords energy. What, what is it that we need to release? What is it that, you know, we really don't want in our life? If it's betrayal, if it's someone being sneaky or, you know, that kind of energy. Do we really want that around us at all times? Do we really want to have one eye looking out over our shoulder? You know, so take a look at your situation and see what needs to be released of course if this is a work issue of course you can't release the person but you can keep your distance you can you know keep things business you don't have to talk to someone on a personal level or you know be nice to a person all the time but be business like you know, if it deals with business, you need to communicate. So, you know, take that under consideration that there's something that needs to be, be released. This Seven of Swords energy is kind of negative, maybe kind of pushing towards the toxic level. But, um, yeah, that is your reading. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads, and take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I have the, the playlist for the February readings up, so if you want to take a look at your February reading, see how that resonates, if it you know gives you more messages to become more clear, um, take a look at those. Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay, and Aquarius, until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.